It's a side-splitting melee weapon. It's a lethal range projectile. It's a useful puzzle-solving device. It can freeze objects in place. It's a simple traversal tool. You can chuck it off a mountain and it eagerly comes right back. It's a crowd control mechanic. It's a powerful active ability. It's an important lore item. It's a resource gathering boomerang. It's an RPG progression system. It's an environmental trap activator. And I guess it also functions as an ax? God of War's Leviathan Axe might just be the single most flexible gameplay mechanic ever designed, at least in my opinion. When I think about the most unique, influential, industry-shifting gameplay elements, my brain goes straight to Portal's spatial-modifying, inertia-influencing portal gun, Max Payne's satisfying slow-mo bullet time, Mario Odyssey's multi-jump enemy commandeering cappy hat, Fez's ingeniously integrated perspective shift, also from a hat, Half-Life 2's physics-based gravity gun, and right up there alongside those, Kratos's frosty Leviathan Axe. I recently just replayed the entirety of God of War for the first time since it launched, and playing this time around on a PlayStation 5 really solidified for me how groundbreaking this game was and still is. I enjoyed the combat back on PlayStation 4, but man does 60 FPS really elevate this thing to a whole other level. Slowing down the frames to admire just a regular few seconds of what the Leviathan Axe can do. You can smash it into the ground to start an air juggle, switch to the Blades of Chaos, pulse them with fire, jump and rip the axe back to you out of midair, and then finish him off with a quick throw, before they've even hit the ground. Moments like that are happening all the time, even if you don't quite go into a fight with any kind of game plan. It's one thing to have a flashy and cinematic combat system, another thing to have a deep, nuanced one. But God of War did a really solid job at giving you just the right amount of combos and synergies while still making every single second look and feel epic. In the past, we have had other games with melee weapons which could also shoot a projectile or be thrown, and we have had ranged weapons that could also do basic melee attacks. But nothing quite rivals the 50-50 close-range, long-range hybrid of the Leviathan Axe. Is it a melee weapon or a ranged weapon? Yes. The close proximity stuff is pretty self-explanatory, with quick swipes and cleaves and the ability to stall inputs to do boomerang-style hits mid-combo. But from a distance, the Leviathan Axe has all kinds of different ways it can be used. You can highlight multiple targets and have it bounce around on its own between enemies. You can send it spinning around in one location to chip away health while you go attack with something else. You can lodge it into someone to freeze them in place and go pummel the guy next to him. Or you can use it like a little trap, using the recall button to hit them on the return back. Having recall set to one dedicated easy button press was definitely the right call. How many of you have been waiting around on an elevator or something and just threw and recalled the axe over and over just because of how weirdly satisfying each and every time it is to swap that thing right back into your palm? Now as good as a combat tool I think the Leviathan Axe is, it's also vying for one of the best Zelda items of all time, even for not being in that series, just for how creatively it's used for puzzle solving here. Luckily, Norse mythology was formed with so many pressure-sensitive mechanisms and exposed gears in mind, because the numerous puzzle elements spread all throughout this game really helped to shake up what otherwise is just a really good straightforward action game. You're using your wits in this God of War about just as often as you're smushing skulls in. With God of War Ragnarok just about here, this axe is getting even more upgrades, which is kind of crazy to even consider. But what do you think? Best singular gameplay mechanic of all time, or do you know something that can compete with this? Let me know down in the comments, and we can kindly fight it out. I'm Alex, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next one.